Oh man, I love Effie so much. She's so fun. And we had such amazing, um, just hair, makeup, and costumes this time around were like off the charts, you know? I'm wearing a ton of couture. I literally wore, uh, I wear a dress. Maybe I'm, am I even allowed to say some of this stuff? Um, I, I'm wearing a dress at one point that's made out of 10,000 feathers that were hand painted, each feather, to look like a monarch butterfly like crazy pieces of art that I couldn't sit in, couldn't eat in, couldn't walk in. So it was, I would go to set in these weird, they made me sort of like weird underoos kind of things that I would go to set in embarrassingly and then in front of like a thousand extras be like, yep, hang on guys, I'm just gonna get dressed in front of everybody and then Effie would be put together. Really amazing stuff this time. And walk of shame? Thank you. It's really fun and funny. I mean, I'm very, very proud of it. Um, I've been looking for, you know, a, a, a vehicle, I guess, is the word that, they, that they, you guys use. Um, I'm very, I know he uses that sort of word. Um, vehicle. Uh, just a really great, fun role that I really, um, you know, felt also sort of was saying something about the zeitgeist right now. And this character I play in Walk of Shame has a really amazing evening with James uh, Marsden, <laughs> which is not hard to do. And, um, and then she, you know, does one of these crazy nights that just goes sideways, can't, you know, lo gets locked out of an apartment or a car gets towed, and then it goes from there. And, and it's all about, frankly, just trying to get home, you know? How do you get home? On the, like, guys, we're in Vegas. Like, this could, all ha this could happen to you tonight. You could have your walk. It could happen tonight. <laughs> That's the movie. Very relatable story, I thought. Oh, this is such a great concept, and I've been there, believe me. As a young filmmaker, as a student filmmaker, how do you juggle like, the executive producing a pitch-perfect and acting? Um, you, not, I don't, you know, you, um, <laughs> such a good answer. I'm so articulate. How do you juggle it? Juggling is really hard. I'm constantly looking for work-life balance, and um, I'm also looking in my work for looking at the balance between actressing and doing other things. I really, really uh, enjoy producing. I produce Pitch Perfect. It's the hardest I've ever worked on anything. Actressing is way easier. Um, but you know, it also becomes like a baby that I've birthed into the world. I'm so proud of it, and and of everybody that's a part of it, and and so there's a there, there's a it's just a greater feeling, um, you know, of, of like I, uh, of accomplishment. Frankly, you know, when I act, acting is in, especially in uh, movies, is not really my medium. You know, it's it's the directors and the editors, and they're going to put together a performance. And um, you know, as a producer, you really get to give people other people opportunities, and that's really, really, really fun. I was so happy to hire Brittany Snow and Anna Camp and Adam Devine and see them sing and dance. And I mean, you have no idea. I was like the mother hen who cried and out of pride every day on that set. You know, every movie is about the collaborators. Every movie is, you know, whether it's The Hunger Games, um, where, you know, they cast Jennifer Lawrence, and you're like, wow, this is going to be amazing. It's all about the people you surround yourself with. And um, I, I, we, we just constantly looked for the people who we thought would had our vision and would be the best collaborators. I think you have to talk to someone else now. <laughs> Thanks, you guys. Thank you for being here.